NVIDIA did it again last night, delivering results that show explosive demand for artificial intelligence computing. The company's success sent the stocks of other chip makers, tech giants, and AI-related companies higher. The AI leader is also an investor in our next guest's company, Hugging Face, an open source machine learning platform. NVIDIA also participating among other tech titans in a huge Series D investment round at $235 million, valuing Hugging Face at $4.5 billion. This is what NVIDIA CFO Colette Kress had to say about the relationship on the company's earnings call last night. Take a listen. We are collaborating also with Hug Hugging Face to simplify the creation of new and custom AI models for enterprises. Hugging Face will offer a new service for enterprises to train and tune advanced AI models powered by NVIDIA DGX Cloud. And joining us now is Clem DeLang, who is the Hugging Face co-founder and CEO. Clem, great to speak with you here this morning. Huge shout out from the NVIDIA earnings call last night and another major series that values you now at four and a half billion dollars. How do you plan to put some of the fresh infusion of capital to work? Thanks so much for, for having me. We're super excited about this round. It's, it's really kind of like a great validation for, for hugging face, but also for open source AI as, as a whole. We're going to use this money to really double down on the team, hire more great people, and really double down on our investment in open source AI uh, and the collaboration features of our platform. Um, and so, Clem, for people who are not that familiar with Hugging Face, you guys basically host all of these models and software that people are sort of playing with when it comes to AI right now, right? So um, how much of that is this new wave of generative AI versus other types of AI models? Um, it's very kind of like the latest generation of AI as a whole, including generative AI and, and all types of AI also in uh, biology, chemistry, time series, voice, images, videos. Uh, so it's even like broader than generative AI. Uh, we have over 50,000 organizations using the platform now, uh, and it kind of like helps AI builders build AI features, workflows, products better. We've heard many CEOs call this the kind of next iPhone type of moment in technology here. And we know how many people have their smartphones with them day in, day out. Some of them sleep next to it. We won't hate them for that. But at the same time, how far are we from getting to that critical mass moment where everybody is either experiencing the benefits of or directly kind of having some type of interaction or engagement with some type of generative AI either model or application? You actually already do without realizing, you know, like you, you do a Google search, it's, it's generative AI. We do kind of like a call like that, you know, we remove the background, it's generative AI. You are kind of like ordering an Uber, your ETA is generative AI. Uh, the interesting thing is that it's replacing existing software. So you might notice it because it's in the background, but it's already here. I think we've uh, validated last year that uh, there was massive usage for generative AI. This year, we're validating that there's massive revenue for generative AI, right? With NVIDIA, with the announcement of Hugging Face and, and others. And um, hopefully next year, we're going to validate that there's margins for generative AI too. So it's a very exciting kind of like maturing cycle for, for generative AI. Um, Clem, you brought up an interesting point, which is that um, investors are now looking for ways to play this. NVIDIA, from a revenue perspective, has already exhibited the most growth here. Um, you guys are private, <laughs> but what can you tell us about the growth that you've been seeing and sort of the implications for the broader ecosystem? We've been super happy about it. Uh, we're on track to 5x our revenue this year uh, with over 10,000 customers today. Uh, what's happening is that um, every company is realizing now that AI is a new paradigm to build tech, right? It's almost like before you were building tech with traditional software, very rule-based, writing a million lines of code. And now uh, the way to build tech is with AI. So. Hopefully, in a few years, every single tech company is going to be an AI company. Maybe at, at that point, we won't even call it AI because mm -hmm. it's just going to be the standard way to build technology.